My name is Anna. Thank you for visiting my site. I wanted to record a short video uh, to give you a bit of information about my background and my approach to teaching. After receiving my PhD in organic chemistry, I worked as a research scientist for um, various startup companies, and then I transitioned into teaching. I have been uh, teaching and tutoring for full time for the past 10 years. And in addition to tutoring, I was also a lecturer at San Francisco State University, where I taught organic chemistry to sophomores. Uh, in addition to teaching, being a teacher and an educator, I'm also a mom. I have two teenage children, uh, a girl and a boy. Uh, and uh, all the anxieties and nervousness that parents feel about the future of their children in this ever-changing world are not new to me. Um, my daughter is currently on a pre-med track and uh, my heart goes out to all the parents whose kids are pursuing this challenging career. When the student first comes to me during this first introductory session, I ask lots and lots of questions. And I always tell the student that I'm not here to give them a grade uh, or to pass some kind of evaluation or judgment. I just want to know what are the areas where they're weakest and how can I help them best? I tell them that they should treat me as a doctor who is just trying to establish a diagnosis. Uh, but I'm also trying to achieve something uh, more important. I'm trying to create an atmosphere in which the student is comfortable asking questions, no matter how silly or far-fetched they, they may be. I always tell the students that our sessions are judgment-free zone. There is no bad question here. I believe that no learning is possible without this important rapport. Chemistry is about understanding. It is not about memorization. And one achieves understanding by practicing, by doing lots of problem solving. I try to make my sessions as interactive as possible. It's not me just lecturing to students, but rather us discussing things. So I always ask them to explain certain phenomenon in their own words. And even if their explanation is wrong, that's okay. What's important is thinking that went behind us. So I watch the students uh, solve the problems and when they get stuck, rather than giving them the right answer, I try to lead them to the right answer by asking questions, by saying, have you considered this aspect? Have you tried this approach? And eventually they get it. And when they arrive at the right answer themselves, there is this aha moment. I understand this now. And this is priceless to me. Uh, it is very satisfying for me to watch my students improve and knowing that I contributed to their academic success. So that's all. Thank you for visiting my site. If you would like to schedule a session or have questions, please drop me a line.